Hello my beloved people This is Mama K live and direct from Abu Data State Hi my people, I would like to carry you people along to a snail farm. I intend to do a small snail farming business. So I came to learn and to train and to get some knowledge how to uh, open a small farming, I mean snail farming in this arbor. So stay tuned. This is the snail farm. Well, the, the, this is when we, we propose to. Snail you know, farm. Can you see the snail yeah, farm in yeah, Abo Delta have, State? This is the owner of the snail farm. Yes, <laughs> his name is Kester. <laughs> I don't see any snails here. They're, they're inside. How to show me one now? Go and look at them. They like to hide. Okay. The, 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 this is the feather. Okay. Just throw them uh, inside the ground. Good morning, Mr. Francis. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. So we said we should come and visit your snail farm. Okay. Want welcome. to gain knowledge on how to raise or to start a snail pen. Okay. Like how much does it cost to start a snail pen? Well, starting a snail pen doesn't require much. Depends on the scale you want to start with. If you're starting with small scale, you just need like Currently, the economy is high, things are costly in the market. You just need like 10 to 15 to 20,000 at the start of the scale, the small scale. But if you're going on a commercial scale, you need about 50, 100, depending on the size you want to concentrate. Okay. Like, what you want to do now, I want to go on a commercial scale so that we can produce, we can raise, train, and sell to people that we, can, that we consume. All right. You just need a cool place, quiet place, not a, a noisy environment. A quiet place. Then you need at least hundred above, hundred thousand above to start. Then on this side is my own pen. It's a concrete type of pen. Okay. I wear achatina, achatina. So you can see this is achatina, achatina. So this one has taken up to six months at this stage to be up to this stage. Okay. So. Which species is the best? Okay, to, there to are three spe species of snail. Mm -hmm. You have Achatina Achatina, Achatina Maginata, and Achatina Polica. So, Achatina Achatina and Achatina Maginata, they rent so well. Like, if you start with, let's say, 100 snails within a year, you're expecting if you manage your snail uh, farming well and you manage your egg, you do your egg management properly, you're expecting at least 1,000 and above. So you starting with Atatina Achatina and Atatina Maginata is perfect. The Achatina Polycas are those small, very tiny smalls. No, no, Most no. probably people don't prefer it in the market. Thank you very much. What does snail eat? Okay, snails feed on leaves, green leaves, vegetables and some concentrates. Well I mean concentrates, you can mix uh, feed, like you can feed them with Feed, but before you feed them with feed, make sure you check the perfect content, what it's made of. Make sure there's no salt in it. Okay. Because if you give them anything containing salt or yeah, give my clay that they don't survive with something that has salt or oil. Yeah. So you feed them with fruits, vegetables like cabbage, uh, panaco, cucumber, uh, watermelon, all those fruits, the vegetables also like water leaf. Uh, Cassava, okuyam leaf, cassava leaf, they feed on all these things. I found out that in this our region there's no much snail pen. What are the disadvantages of having it here? Um, you know, the nature currently people are not liking like our generation now. They don't want to go into agriculture or farming. They see it as old school. There's no money there. They want ICT or tech or something that gives them fast money. No, agriculture is the return on investment in agriculture is okay, it's fine, but it doesn't take fast like other sectors, other investment. Now, why people don't normally do snail farming in Nigeria or in Teta State precisely is because there is little knowledge on how to farm the snail, and they don't 
usually have interest in farming, but they have interest in eating consumption. Mm, that is where I'm yeah. going to. That's where I'm going yeah. to. Yeah. 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 You know that they like just tell us the advantages of okay. eating snail. Yeah. That is the area. That is why we want to go to the snail. There's so much advantage of eating mm -hmm. snail. Tell I, us. They are countless. I can't mention all of them. Mm -hmm. Snail is a white meat, low in cholesterol. Mm. It can be eaten by anybody. The kids, the young ones, the elderly, the old. There's no disadvantage. It doesn't have any effect like housing cost issue or heart issue, problem or blood issues. It is perfectly okay for the system. Gives you the vitamins and minerals that you need. Eating snail normally you can survive with that. It's very, very okay for the system. Okay. Like what people used to say that if you want your snail to grow fatter, fast, mm. give them enough protein. Mm -hmm. No, just what you want to do, just do your maintenance properly. You change the soil every three to four months every four months just change it give them dark soil they survive mainly in moist area and where it is uh, covered with they don't like sunlight make it the environment to be cool okay. conducive no noise you feed them you put the food for them like vegetables like like i mentioned earlier you can give them pumpkin leaf, you can give them cucumber you can give them watermelon then carry egg Garbage, just continue to give them food every evening. They eat mostly at night, they feed at night, they don't eat many. Mm -hmm. But if you give them food now, they might also eat because they like eating and they like reproducing. They are hermaphrodites, they don't have male and female. Like this one, especially for female, especially for me, they are hermaphrodites, male and female, sex for them, both of them. So at night, they feed well. During rainy season, they meet both of them, all of them lay their egg and the egg hatches. So they tend to reproduce or become larger, popular, plentier in rainy season than in dry season. Like in this period now, we are in December now, or January, December, just that dry season period, they tend to have in it kind of like secretive, white, whitish substance and close up. Like they are trying to rest. But you as a snake farmer, you don't need to allow them rest for that first period. Because if they rest too much, they might die inside because of in, in times like that, what do you do? How so do in times like that, you try to remove the, the white covering, you water them enough, you give them food, you give them vegetables, make the place cool enough for them to... Uh, you mean you remove everything? You remove the white something. There's oh. a white something that's secret. Okay. The secret white something, like this one now, I just remove this one. If it does that properly, I just remove this one, then I water mm. it. It was, it was secreting something white okay. to seal up, to hibernate. Oh. To seal up, to hibernate. So I just removed it and I watered it. And it's they like, don't come out, we cannot see them. No, they, they are like this. I just, they, they don't. Are they, they sleeping don't, now? Yes, it's sleeping now. They don't usually move during the day. At okay, night. They? Yes, at night you see them coming out. They are too uh, oh. interfaced here. Yeah. So they sleep. Okay, so, Mr. Francis, the snail trained in, in a pair like this and the one in the bush. What is the difference? Which one is sweeter? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no much difference from the one in the bush and the one here. The ones here have a, a different taste, let's say, in the sense of the, the way you feed them, what you feed them with. If you feed them with fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and where they are staying is dark soil, they have a sweet taste. Which one is sweeter? The one. <laughs> I prefer the bush. <laughs> it depends on, on how it's you nature. prefer. It's nature, nature like that. On how you prefer, but the ones here tends to produce larger, gives you higher return than the ones in the bush. Oh. So where you get all these snakes? Where you buy it? Okay, you, like before I started, I mm. bought from a, a, a existing snake farm already. Okay. The snake farm is not in Agbo, it's in Agbona. So I bought from the patient. And you know, he's, since he's already ready, this thing already, those ones are infection free. Yeah, there's no disease infected, they are all cool. So, please, like, yeah. you will still mm. treat them. You give you, them, that you, is you, a you, very you, you good, put them, uh, you idea. give them, you give them some. How do you name their seed? Yeah, how do you name some? You give them some herbs. There are some herbs you give them. And all that. No, no, you pay for that class. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> is it bitter leaf they will give them? Because I know here in Nigeria they will take bitter leaf and uh, scent leaf. <laughs> okay, so uh, snail overall they eat everything? No, not everything. They don't eat salt, they don't eat oil. They don't eat pepper. Okay. No, salt and oil. I'm very sure of this. I've not tried pepper. You can go and use your stuff pepper. <laughs> <laughs> salt and oil. When you give them anything containing salt or oil, do that. Mm. They have lifespan like that, like how many years they can? They can last up to one year, two years, three years. Only one year, two years. They, they can last more than two years. They can last more than one year. How you prepare mm. them? There are some 
what they call but it. But I see in the market they are selling the baby baby thing. Is it good to eat? Those big ones. The small, baby small. The baby snake. Can we eat? Depending on your child. Maybe those ones you're talking about is Achatina folica. Because there are three species that they Okay, they don't grow. Do they are dice the size? Dice their size. Dice the size. Achatina folica. You can't see someone. Selling but like oil. us now, like we are the market people, we don't know if it's a chatina or chatina. It's now only I know it's a chatina or chatina. People who don't know how <laughs> they... Snail is snail. No, no. You, when you get <laughs> people to the market, just go buy everything. When you get to the market, you see snails and you know the one you, you prefer, you want the one you like, you eat in and you buy those ones. You don't necessarily need to... Know so what name. are you telling us now? That we that want to go into the farming now, which species do you want us to buy that will profit us more? Mm. If you want to go into it's the market health. now, you know... Uh, People yeah, you are targeting your market target already. Like here, yeah, this place, what most most is achatina, achatina, and achatina, achatina, achatina. Focusing on achatina for liquor, you won't have a higher return. Honestly, there is no much market request for that. So you, it's better you go with the one that is a high level request. Mm -hmm. Like snails are eating every time. Dry season, rainy season, anytime people are buying snails, they say snails. They use it for sauce, they use it for kitchens, they use it for different soup. Is it for rice? Anything that you want to think of, mm -hmm. you can eat it with it. Wow. How many years you are doing this snail farming? Okay, barely a year now. Up to a year. A year? Yeah. So a year you have how many now? How many snails? Barely a year now. Mm. Yeah. I started around, around May, so I started with 200. So from now on, it's up going to 1,000 plus. Oh, around wow. Okay, that's, good that's good thing. So this one will not take time to do this small snail farming business in Nigeria? No, it won't take it time. Mm. You, 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 now it's dry season. If you want to start now, get all your knowledge down, get your market research down, get your funds down, you can construct the pen down and start off rainy season. Like, but this uh, aluminum thing will give them heat? Yeah, that is why I'm putting you see this much. It's this plantain, dry plantain leaf to cover up. Okay, to dry plantain leaf. leaf. Yes, to so cover the leaves. To cool the snails. Yes, to cool them. Mm. And you water it to make the place moist. Now. Okay. How you give them water? You sprinkle water on it. Like okay, you sprinkle water. Yes, you can use oh. shower to shower them. So, but how would they drink it? They can drink from inside. Once the water touches them, they are okay with it. Then the fruits you are giving them, don't mm. forget there's water in the fruits you are giving them. Like the oh. watermelon, there's water from there. Purple, there's water from there. Mm. So they don't actually like need a, a, a pocket of water like fowls, poultry that you put and drink water like humans. So, are you making profit in this business because the things where you will buy, like watermelon, are you taking it from the farm? I'm taking it, I'm buying it from the market, mm -hmm. but at a lower price because I don't usually buy the ones that humans consume. Okay. Buy the ones that are a little bit getting spoiled, the ones, the ones okay, they can discard. Yeah, it's not actually rotten, but the one they can discard. So the, pro the price for that one is much, much less. Mm -hmm. lesser. So when you buy those type, you give them, feed them with that one. When you sell, you make a lot of profit. Okay. How much they are selling in the market now? This okay. big one. In the market for now. Is there a size of um, like this one now? In the market for now, this goes for 200, 300 for one. 200 to 300 for one. Oh. I, I talk of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. For one. So it depends on the mm. number you have. If you have up to 500, you can see that you know how much. Mm. If you have up to 200, you can see how much. Okay. So these are the small ones. I can show you. My baby snails so far. Right. So these are the baby ones. Plenty. No. Wow. So. See baby. Yeah. That so. is great. But this one we can we consume it? No, no. no. They're still baby. It's not wise to consume this one. And it's Ah, only, see the one yeah, is crying. Why yeah. is wake up? <laughs> he said only wake up in the He's looking for food. I'm yet to give them oh, food. Oh, okay. I just removed the leftover from yesterday. Wow. So I'm yet to give them food. That's nice. Yeah. So, so you have to separate the babies and the mom? Sure, you have to separate because they are, they are kind of, if there's no food for them, the bigger ones will eat up the smaller ones. They oh. eat the, the shares. It gives them Can they do that? Yes, they mm. can eat the shares. It gives them calcium. Oh, they need calcium, a lot of calcium for the shares. So mm -hmm. if you don't separate the mature ones, the bigger ones from the smaller, they eat, the bigger ones will eat up the smaller ones. Okay. That is why you do sorting after some time. You separate mm. the bigger ones from the smaller ones. To decide to. You don't have much snail farm? Yes. Yes. I, that is what I want to ask you, Mr. Francis. Mm. What makes you to start this snail farming business in this Delta State Arbor? Is it the uh, Arbor people like to eat more of snails? Uh, how, how, why, what makes you to open this snail farming business? Okay. 
Yeah, when I was much younger, I used to like snails. I usually you to consume snails or I consume snails. Okay. I like snails. So Ooh. I do pick those small small ones I see mm -hmm. moving around in my compound. I then I don't know that one it was a uh, Atatina polica. Then I dig a hole and put them trying to okay, like it's a backyard like, business. Yeah, trying to like <laughs> train them. When I was much right. younger, I was in secondary primary school then. So when I grew up I was like, okay, I want to do agriculture, I want to do part of farming. You know, so I was thinking, yeah, I know I do like lost snakes earlier, so it's okay if I go and research and learn how to raise snakes and start farming snakes. That's mm -hmm. it's kind of like a side hustle or maybe make it a full time business or something. Okay. So I started it initially as a side hustle. But I think it's trying to take more of my time now, so it's trying to make become a kind of like a main business now. You know, yeah. like me now, I want to do a small snail farm in this arbor. So if I want to come and learn lesson, like uh, maybe a short lesson to get more knowledge and how to train these snails. So will you do that or are you doing it now with your... With I'm, I'm yet to start uh, training, resource training on how to farm snail. But if you, eng if you engage me for me to lecture you and teach you, even showing the tutorial and the practical with my farm, on how to train snake, it will cost much, just a small thing, and it's more to just make me smile and I'll teach you. Wow, that is <laughs> nice. Okay, and another uh, thing, there's an Abo Tech school in this Abo. Yeah, uh, they are teaching more about this maze, and That's this my sister in law mm. is from that school, and I think both of them are yes, yes, uh, schoolmates. So, Mama J, tell something about this snail. What, what do you want to say to me? Like, if I should go for the class, or I should learn with you, or we'll learn with your friend. No, to me, no need of going to the class. What you are looking for in Sokoto is mm -hmm. ready in Shokoto. Hey! Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> since you are privileged to have us mm -hmm. as one family, I myself and Mr. Francis, yes. we can work together. Mm -hmm. We can make a team. Mm -hmm. We can give you every knowledge that you need, everything that you need to know about snail. Like, how many months like I can learn? Three I can it, depends on, it depends on how fast you learn. How you capture things and it's also okay if you stay up to three months why do i say that now like now this is a dry season if you're counting three months from now you enter the rainy season so you know the difference between the dry okay, season, season how snail behaves okay. and how snail behaving rainy mm. season so, so three a, months the cost yes three months wow, is okay that's very learn, fast to learn everything. i think it's not much difficult to train us so no it's not much you need to come and you need monitor. to you need to monitor them you need to give them feed you need to change the soil after some certain time like i said four six mm. months you change the soil so how how you sell the market people will come and take it or you will sell yourself yo you can go to you can take them to the market and say you can still have a snail farm in this apple yes I have. wow that's nice so is it big still like this or Mm. It's not too big. It, it's, it's it's up to six hundred snails. Wow! So this Abotech is really helping all the I mean sure. the students, yeah, yeah, the young big. students. Yeah, wow! Is good wow! Problem. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. good. It's very, very good. good. And the benefit of having governor, um, CBN governor from the states. Mm, yes, <laughs> yes. If I need Okawa. No, that is the governor. I mean CBN oh, governor. CBN. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, he's the Apple. one in charge for the yeah, Abotech. He's the initiative oh, of that program. He brought it to us. That's good. That's yeah. good. He's, he's doing very really good, good thing in this Abo. Yeah. And also, uh, I want to say thank you, Mr. Francis, to let me to come and view and You're learn welcome. something You're about welcome. snail. And I like time. snail. I like snail in this Nigeria. Okay, <laughs> please. This is Mr. Francis. If you need anything, if you want to learn or you want to come and buy or anything, you should come and meet Mr. Francis here in our board Delta State. Thank you very much. Oops. Like, subscribe, like, and, and share. share. The snail spot. The snail joints. After we went and checked out the snail farm, we are coming to chop snail now. Chop snail. Chopping snail. It's Chop, chop. Beloved people, check it out. The snail. This is the snail pepper snail. Pepper snail. Okay, this is the owner for Blissonia Bar in this arbor. Okay, what is this garnishing where you are putting inside? It is called Utezi. Okay, and onions. Yes. And you do pepper sauce? Yes. Oh, that's nice. How much you sell it like this? 2,000 per plate. 
for per plate. Yes. Wow. This is ah. nice. Yeah. I want to take a taste of the snail. All right. Take it and test it now. How is it? Yummy. Mm-hmm. Mama, just test it now. My people, I'm enjoying the snail. Look at this snail. Wow. It's too fine. Snail. Let me enjoy. Mmm. It's a bit hot. Mm. Yummy. Mm. They fry it. They will fry this meat. Mm. It's nice. Very mm. nice. This is snail. Abo snail spot. Thank you for watching my people. Please like and subscribe and share. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.